then part two gives you this whole as you show at 20 cosine theta plus 12 sine theta equals 15 we values here being 3 op and ox being 5 the main key is to make sense of these three numbers with anything you can find over here 20 12 or 15 so something that comes up is 15 right so 15 being half times 5 times 3 and this being our area it's not directly representative but that is likely to be the case so we can safely say that this likely can be your area formula so we can look at 11 part 1 what we found here right your h value and your l value again this differs depending on what variable you try name it here 4 sine theta and here 4 cosine theta we named this h earlier and this is l so here you can tell as well let's look at 20 cosine theta first I know there's a lot of arrows but try to keep with me 20 cosine theta so we can't look at 4 and 3 right because that's 12 but 4 and 5 will give us 20 actually and subsequently 12 sine theta you can actually get 4 and 3 again because uh, it's half base times half a b half base times height right so the half may be a bit of issue but let's just do it first and you can see how it goes just to label op axis op x op op y being o o p y and lastly o x y being the whole triangle itself let's do it o half 5 put 4 cosine theta so you have 5 4 cosine theta 3 being 3 here 4 sine theta being 4 sine theta here so when you simplify here is 10 here's 20 here's 6 here's 12 and here's 7.5 here's 15 so just multiply by 2 to all these terms and you got answer shown for 11 part 2 let's